Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of My Bucket List Day. Today's a big day. I'm excited to share a, a bike ride we did with you in one of the coolest places or coolest bike rides I've ever had. In addition to that, I have some huge announcements to make that uh, I will have here at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. And I'd like to thank all of you that has been hitting that little like button, subscribe, and the bell notification. Uh, that has been helping me out a lot. So keep that up. But before we get into all of this, let's go ahead and watch that intro and I'll be right back. Hey everyone, welcome back. So, the bike ride that we did, you're gonna see, it was gorgeous. It actually was probably the best bike ride I have ever gone. It's called the Hiawatha Trail. And it's in the uh, Coeur d'Alene Forest, or National Forest area. Uh, it is incredibly beautiful. It is a 15 mile ride one way, um, and it's pretty much all downhill, so it can be at any skill rider. There's not a lot of, uh, well, really, not much pedaling you do at all. You pretty much just kind of coast downhill at any speed that you'd like. Um, there are 10 tunnels that you're going to ride through, as well as, I believe it's seven trestles, or bridges, if you will. They're, it's a beautiful ride. It was formerly uh, train tracks that went through the mountains that uh, got destroyed in 1910 of a big fire. And then a few other uh, things took place that basically put the area or that particular train run uh, out of business. It was part of the Milwaukee train rail system for many, many years. And then I believe it was in the 70s, or late 70s or mid 70s, they finally shut it down and then it became the bike path that it is today. So to gain access to this trail, you have to buy a pass. Um, and if you need a bike, you can rent bikes and everything else, helmets, all that kind of stuff. And you basically go to the Lookout Pass ski area, which is just up the road there a few miles off of Highway 90 and uh, you get your passes as well as your equipment if you need to rent a bike or anything like that at that lookout ski mountain area or the, the, where you buy your chairlifts. At any rate, you get all that stuff right there and uh, then you drive on down to the parking lot uh, at the entrance of the trail. Now you can, as I mentioned, it's 15 miles pretty much downhill the whole way. It's a beautiful ride. Um, and then when you get to the bottom, you load your bikes up on these uh, buses, these school buses, and they bring you all the way back up to the very first tunnel that you went through, and you ride back to that, back to your car. So it's pretty simple. Had we known, or had we been done this before, we would have known ahead of time. It's not a hard ride back up. So if you want to ride down and then back up, you can do that. We took off too late in the day, and we didn't have enough time to ride back up, so we used the bus the shuttle system. Um, however, again, you don't have to be an experienced rider. It's, uh, it is uphill, but it's a very, very uh, gradual decline, or in the, in the case of riding back up, incline. Um, and I think uh, even the novice rider probably could do it. We saw a bunch of families going back up the hill with little kids, and they were doing fine. Uh, if you have an e-bike, obviously it's a no-brainer. It's an easy ride back up, so it'd be a total of 30 miles round trip. Um, well worth it. Uh, wish we had started earlier so we could have rode back up, even though we didn't have e-bikes. Uh, my buddy Brian and I here, as you see, we have been riding for years, and riding back up that would have been no problem at all. So, again, it's uh, 10 tunnels, 7 bridges that you go over, and incredible views. Which you'll see in the first tunnel, it's actually a little over a mile long. So you have to have headlights on your bikes so you can see where you're going or your helmets or somewhere, but you need to have some lights. And then the second tunnel, I accidentally turned my camera off and did not even know that. And we had a deer come running right at us in the tunnel and sadly, I did not get that on camera. However, I did get another deer uh, coming up the pathway. So you'll see that here as well. 
but missed the deer in the tunnel which was funny uh, I didn't see it Brian did I almost ran into it because I silly me had my sunglasses on still which uh, was a dumb move take your sunglasses off before you go into the trail or into the tunnels I should say so sit back relax enjoy the views and I'll be right back This is awesome. <laughs>
Yeah. Lights on, no sun class. It's much better. You need oil. And look or do you have a uh, mechanical problem? Do you stop and look or do you have a mechanical problem? Incredible views, wasn't it? That bike ride, 
insanely cool. You got to do it. If you're in the area, the Coeur d'Alene area, you got to make that a stop. It's a bucket list item. It truly, truly is. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I've got some big announcements. Uh, first announcement is the next two video release days that I have, which is next Wednesday and the following Sunday. There will be no videos. Um, and that's because, and it's a big surprise, but I will be doing some traveling and going to be doing some planes, trains, and automobiles types of things to get where I need to go. And then we'll start the videos there. Um, it's a surprise of where we're going. Um, I say we because, yes, the other part of the surprise is I'm traveling with somebody. So uh, you'll see that person uh, when I get to the next video and who I'm going to be traveling with. It's kind of a surprise. Another big announcement is when we come back for the next set of videos, we'll be starting Season 3. This is the last video of Season 2. Many of you have asked, how do I determine my seasons? Well, it's very, very simple. In my world, there are two seasons. There's football season, and then there's everything else. So football season, as most of you know, starts next week. In preseason, that is. And uh, that's the beginning of my new season for all these videos. So season three will be the entire football season, all the way up and through to the Super Bowl in February. And then we start season four just after that. So that's how I divide my seasons. It's football season and everything else is... So to repeat, this coming Wednesday and this coming Sunday, there will be no video. So we'll be starting season three on the following Wednesday, which I believe is August 25th. And also in that episode, we'll be revealing all the big surprises. Stay tuned for all of that. For those of you that are new to this channel, I invite you to go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and that little bell icon indicating when I'm releasing each video. So for those of you that are new to this channel, I invite you to hit that like button, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, and then the little bell icon that indicates when I'm releasing a video. That helps me out on the algorithms, and if you like the content you've seen here, we've got more to share. Thank you all for watching. Make it a great bucket list day, and I look forward to seeing you back on August 25th.